All right, don't move a muscle. Sorry, I'm checking Instagram. Got a few more likes. No, just kidding. I'm taking a picture. Here we go. Guys, what's happening? In this video, we're going to teach you a little bit about how to use cover and concealment in the best way possible. So free information, and you're going to be coming into a class with us. If you'd like to train with us, it's hard to get in a Warrior Poet class. We sell out pretty darn quick, but if you become a patron, we give you a 48-hour head start before the public ends up trying to get access to classes. It's almost the only way you can even get in classes now, and it, the support means a lot. If you want to hang out with us for a long time, we have a trip coming up. It's a 12-day trip to Israel, and uh, you're invited. So anyway, you can sign up. Check below in the links. I'm going to drive through. I can't stop. Anyway, let's roll the video. Here we go. Right, so I wanted to talk about seat clamps. It's pretty darn easy. Uh, the advantages are is it guarantees that you're not way far out there. You're really pinned to this side, and so that's a-okay. The disadvantages are is it can be a little bit difficult to get into, especially when you have different optics. Or I'm not optics, but we have flash lights and lasers and different switches and vertical foregrips, and you're doing shoulder transitions. It can be a little bit uh, more difficult. Like all of our stuff, whenever I think I'm about to run and gun, step one, go ahead and swim out of the sling. And just kind of like when we did our fetal prone earlier, where we prepped our gun with a shelf so that we could fall into it, here I'm going to prep my hand uh, for something else. And all I'm basically going to do is here's my normal C clint or my normal, normal grip, and I'm going to change it over so it's like this. There's different variations to do this, but essentially what I wanted to do is I am la latching my thumb up under here. You guys with some type of uh, hand stop or a vertical foregrip, usually I'll have something on a rifle. I don't have one on this one right now, and I will sometime in the future. But anyway, right now, uh, th this is basically how you're having, uh, having your hand so that you can grab onto it. Now, some people make the mistake of they think about putting their rifle on the side, and I'm not thinking about putting my rifle on the side. All I'm thinking about is driving my gun a little bit past it and setting my hand on the barricade. And if you think about that, you'll go straight to the position without having to screw around. What usually screws people up is this whole thing where they get here and then they have to keep wiggling, setting it up, setting it up, and then they're ready to shoot. And that's where all your time goes. And keeping in mind, you're flagged to the whole battlefield as soon as this uh, rifle, uh, as soon as the muzzle drives past the cover. So that's a big, uh, big no-go. Where's my dot? That's a little too dim. Cool. So if I was prepping out right here on the side, I would go ahead and switch my hand. Uh, I'd prep my body. So see how I have that LOA still? And I'm not flagged at all and everything's in tight. And then I'll drive past it. And I'm just thinking about putting my hand on the piece I can immediately make that shot and they have no time and that's the big goal pretty good yep. all right so again here I'm, uh, I'm gonna do the kneeling remembering that limit of advance because what is the great unforgivable sin with cover flag, 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 flag. flag. never flag and what's the dirty secret is everyone's flagging so here I am I'm coming up on this I find that LOA kind of place right here I'll go ahead and switch my hand and I'm ready to lunge forward and I hit and Go ahead and make that shot nice and easy, even at some distance on the small target. Pretty cool. Uh, the other one, pretty darn simple. It's just the good old, it's just the good old tar uh, shoulder transition, and I'm going to do the exact same mirrored thing where I I grab basically right here. It's the thumb and finger which really do does it. Now I've got a flashlight on this side, so I've got to remember. I'm not going to drive my gun completely straight so I don't get hung up. Instead, I come out just a little bit, drive past, and then I snap in toward where the hand is to be able to uh, make it. Sorry to miss, so I had to rain thunder so you knew I'd still get it. Uh, <laughs> questions on this? You were still putting your hand on your, I didn't quite see, you are putting your hand on your magwell. Yeah, but I switched as soon as I uh, went. So. Yeah, I did for the transition, but once I got there, I did one more step out so I could go okay. ahead. 
C clamp. C clamps are real simple. I want y'all to just practice them here. After you practice them a little bit, you'll have it. You'll need a lot of proficiency to get real good and quick with it. But really, it's about prepping and knowing what to do. So in <coughs> review, same LOA stuff. Swim out of the sling. Go ahead and reverse the hand and think about putting the hand on. Cool. And don't swim.